Yeah. yeah. Something on. Wait a minute. It could be cod. It feels like banging, banging. And there we have it. Our first fish of Norway in July 2024. Plump little codlin. I'll get this guy unhooked, chuck him straight back. Oh. Woo, we're on the fish. Two casts on the bait, on the worm baits. Free codlin. Well, good morning, everybody. Or good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. But it's definitely morning with me. We have arrived in Norway and we've come to target some bigger fish, halibut hopefully, and also after some flat other flatties, place and dabs, what I'm going to do is get my place fishing rod set up and chucked out and then I'm going to try and catch some fish to use as bait. I've got a little bit of frozen with me in case the, the fresh ones aren't playing ball, but that's the plan for the day. So let's take a look at the rod and reel. I've got my Tronics Pro Competition Blackout paired with my Pen Fathom uh, 15 reel and this is going to be for my place fishing and I've got the same rod for targeting the halibut but I'm going to be sticking my fixed bore on that, my Shimano Altegra, we'll take a look at that when I've got it set up but I'm going to get a free loop rib baited up and shortly we'll take a little look at that. So I've got my place rig all baited up, we've got a juicy lug on the top hook there I'm using a free hook clip down there here. I've got a juicy lug on the middle hook and a lovely dug rag on the bottom there, good to go. So this is going out for the flatties. Um, so it's got a loop, loop at the bottom and the snoods on this are about, I think they're about 16 inches long. So I'm gonna get this whacked out, see if we can pick up something flat. Nice little gentle flick. And the baits are out. We're going to go and try and catch some bait. I've got my little HTO lure game rod with a set of Tron Explosive Eekies. And we're going to try dropping this over the side, see if we can pick something up. So straight over we go. Oh, got a bit of line twisting. Hang on. Let's fix that. Got one of the hooks is caught on the braid. Got to be careful with these sabikis, they're so sharp. All right, try that again, take two. We're gonna drop this down. I'm here fishing with Wayne, the shore hunter, and Salt Max, and our good friend Scott. And some of the guys have already been pulling out small fish on the old sabikis. So we know they're down here. Just give them a little. Oh, and Scott, he's just caught a little gold silly wrasse next to me. He's, put, he's on a multi-species hunt, I think. Whereas Wayne's been catching pollock and coalfish. Try casting them out a little bit. I know immediate hit straight down the side. Little flick. Just let that sink. A little bit more line out. All the while I'm doing this, I can be watching my place rod for bites. Just bumping the lead along the bottom here. Oh, I've got a bite on the bait. Let's get this one reeled in. Stick it in the tripod out of the way. But yeah, definitely a bite there on the bait. On the lug or the rag that I've got chucked out. Just be careful of these little spiky hooks. Right, let's spin you around. Well, I'll move you around here and we can keep an eye on this bite. I was just lifting to this, see if there's anything on the end. I'm going to turn the ratchet off, tighten the drag up. Well, if there is something on it, it's not massive, but it's definitely a little bit of weight. Yeah, something on. 
Oh, it's, uh, it's woken up, I think. Oh. It's definitely not a monster. But it's putting a nice little bend in the rod. I can see the leader knot now coming through the water. There's something on here. Got something. It's putting a bit of a bend in the old tip. It's it just banged. See the rag or lug. Oh, need to tighten my real seat up. Oh, I'll worry about my leader knot in a minute. It could be cod. It feels like banging, banging. Oh, I've got Max's line. That's the trouble with fishing forward here, I don't like it. Yeah. I think I might have actually got the hook around your line. Well, I think it's, uh, oh, it's just the weed. There, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Little one. A little one. There we go. Just watch the old hooks. And there we have it, our first fish of Norway in July 2024. Plump little codlin. I'll get this guy unhooked, chuck him straight back. But yeah, beautiful to see. I do love catching a cod. Cod on the flatty rig, that's how it works. <laughs> so I'll chuck that little codlin back. So let's get back on the Sabiki's task. Just going to try jigging it and jigging it up and down the bottom. Because you've got to get jiggy with it, haven't you, quite frankly. Right, we're down there. I think the fish hole's over there behind me where Wayne's fishing. Anyway, I'm going to keep doing this for a bit. And if I get into a fish, I'll bring you back. So there we go. We have a little pollock caught on the sabikis. So it's a little bit bigger than I would have liked to bait for bait, but I'm going to bop this on the head, get it chucked out. Woohoo! So I've been getting a bit of slack line on my bait, my worm baits, and I think I might have another little cod on it. Certainly feels like it's bumping its head, and again, it's putting a nice little bend in the tip there. It's probably been on a little while because I was busy sorting out bobbing that pollock on the head and chucking that out on my other rod. So that is now out in the water. This one's fighting a little bit better than the first one, so maybe it's a little bit bigger. We'll see, I've got a bit of weed on here. Definitely feels coddy though. Double shot of cod. <laughs> That's why it feels heavier. <sighs> Let's take a look at these beautiful fish. There we go, look at that one. That's pretty much about the same size. That's the first one, so I've just got my rig caught in the deck here. We've got some holes in the deck, just got one of the hooks stuck in it. Get that free. Oh, come here. That's it. So there we go. Double shot of Norwegian cod. Sorry, the camera's a little bit off level because I started recording that pretty quick when I knew there was fish on the end. So again, these are only little babies, we'll get them unhooked and we'll get them chucked back. What were they caught on, by the way, before I forget to look? They were both on the lug, so nothing on the rag, although some of the rag looks like it has been munched. But there we go, that's the smaller one of the two. Let's get him back over the side. And now we'll take a look at the bigger one. I need to go and grab my T-bar, get this unhooked. Double shot of cod. Shame they ain't monsters, eh? 
So I've got the T-bar. Be careful not to drop it down the gap because that would be a sad thing to lose on the first day, wouldn't it? Let's get the bait out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Right. So there we go. Pretty much the same size as the first one. I'll get this guy chucked back as well. Woo, we're on the fish. Two casts on the bait, on the worm baits. Free codlin. Can't be beat. Well, it can be. I'd like a big one, really. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. Let's get this guy away. There we go. Put the T-bar away. Ready for the next one. So I've had another little go with my had another little go with my uh, sabikis and look we have a little gold cine so that's species number three and scotty next to me has just caught a poor cod so it's definitely a multi-species day today which is fabulous that's what we were hoping for we've got big bait out little place baits out although we're on a venue where we're like to catch other things as we've seen cod on the place rigs and now a little gold cine on the speakies that's tipped off with a little tiny bit of brag about that size um bit like I've got on the hook there just above. So anyway, I'm going to get this little chap unhooked and chuck him back. Well, I've carried on fishing with my sabikis with little bits of baited, uh, little bits of rag bait on tipped on them. Cut quite a few more pollock and gold sinnies, but look at that. An absolutely stunning cuckoo wrasse. Not the biggest, but certainly a very pretty fish we've got there. Anyway, I'm going to get this guy chuck back. Beautiful. So I thought it was time for a little update. I managed to uh, get snagged up and lose my three hook place rig that I was catching them codling on. So I've got another rig out now. It's a two up loop rig with 18 inch snoods. 1-0 saltwater super champion hooks like I had on the first rig. And I'm still scratching about with the little sabikis down the side. So we've had that beautiful cuckoo wrasse. I've had quite a few of the little um, gold sinnies and a load of pollock. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it's going. So I've got a lug two, two oh, missed it. I've got two lug out on the loop rig. Maybe pick up another codlin. I hadn't had a bite for quite a while on it when I chucked it out there and just lost, uh, lost the rig. Um, I reckon that's because it was well snagged up and something gnarly out there, which isn't good. I'm going to check the uh, big bait rig in a bit. And hopefully that's not in the same snag. Scotty next to me lost something out there as well today. Um... So there's definitely something in the way out there, which we haven't had at this venue before. But we keep fishing, keep trying. And I want to hook this little beast that's uh, attacking that tiny little bit of ragworm I've put on the end of the sabiki. Come on, take it down. You know you want to probably strip the hook by now, to be fair. And uh, I'm just see, looking over my shoulder, I see Wayne's just pulled in four pollock on his sabikis. Yeah, I think it's a bit greedy, so just send some round here really, shouldn't I? see if it's on there it's probably had all the bait yeah bottom hook a little bit of uh bottom two hooks and ragworm's gone and one near the top so we get some fresh bits of little tiny bits of rag on here i think i've got one in my pot here it's on my new tripod this is one of the evo 3 tripods that tronics pro are now selling this is the short version which is great for coming over here to norway because it's it's light it packs down well in the rod tube and it's just perfect for me bringing over here as well as using back home of course but I picked the shorter of the two specifically because I knew I was coming here and uh, wanted to keep my luggage uh, weight down as much as I could I'm going to stick a little bigger bit of worm on the bottom hook this time that's got about two inch bit of rag for the head end on the bottom sabiki I wonder if that's enough to tempt a slightly bigger ras to pick up my bait I don't think I'm going to compete with Wayne's four pollock at once, though. Straight down the side. Let's see if we can get it. There's so many little fish down here. It is a lot of fun playing with this lure rod whilst I'm waiting for something to take the uh, other baits. I'll probably wear myself out, and as the week goes on, I'll be doing a bit less. Ooh, finickety. Missed it again. It's because I'm filming. Earlier on, I was just hooking them straight away. 
truth, I swear. Yeah, I think we got him this time. Have we? Is he on there? No, missed it. Straight back down. So as I said earlier in the video, this is my HTO lure game rod. It's rated to cast up to 80 grams, I think it is. And I've paired this with my pen spin fisher, 5,500 size. And that's loaded with 20 pound braid with a tiny bit of fluorocarbon leader on the end. And then my Tronix Pro Sabiki's tipped with rag, which is busy getting eaten by the little tiny wrasse that's not taking it in. Give it a little bit of movement. Just move away from my other line a little tiny bit. I think it might have had most of the rag now. Oh, there we get a little touch, look. Nope. Still not on there. And most of my hooks still have bait, so they can go back down. Hopefully the microphone's not picking up too much of the wind noise, because it is blowing a hoolie. That's one of the good things about fishing in the fjords, is it doesn't get too rough. Oh, I think Wayne is into something on his lure rod. Oh, we got the fish this time. What have we got? Oh, it's another little gold cine, look. Let's have a look at him. There we go. Fell for that bit of rag on the bottom hook. So I'll get this chap unhooked, chuck him back, and I'm gonna go and see what Wayne's got on his lure rod. Well, as you can see, I'm at a different mark now. We've had to move because it's got really windy and it was really quite unpleasant where we were fishing before. Where we are now, still pretty windy, but we're out fishing again. I've had to put my rods down really low, as you can see, because the wind wiped them out twice. And the uh, second time took Wayne's rods out as well. It's all a bit of a kerfuffle, but watch Wayne's videos and he'll be able to tell you all about what happened to him. The tripod got bent, I've had to bend that back. Reel's got a chunk taken out of it, all action here. I've got some worm baits out again on two at Loop Brig and the other rod is going to be after the big fish with a big fish bait. Um, yeah, so that's it. I just need to uh, get cracking with the little sabikis again and see if we can pick some small species up. But I've already had a little knock on the worms, so I'm going to check those in a minute, see if there's anything on the end. But we're here, we're fishing and we're getting blown away. I'll have to work a bit harder to catch one. Scotty's just caught a pollock that he's going to bop on the head. Oh, it's a whiting. A whiting that he's going to pop on the head for some bait. And I'm going to have a look and see if this bite has hooked itself because it's been bopping away for a little while. So let's take a look. Oh, I'm not sure if there's anything on there. Am I on your way, Max? If there is something on here, it's pretty small. It's coming up from the depths, I can tell you that. It's very deep here. The line looks like it's going straight down in front of me. But actually, I cast it about 70 yards out. we got There's something on there oh we got a double shot hey. double shot of dabs there we go there's one there we go double shot of dabs on lug hey oh, nice. <laughs> look at that let's get these guys unhooked Chuck them back. I said I wanted to catch flatties, and flatties is what we've got. Norway dabs. Well guys, I just had a little bit of slack line on my worm bait rig, and we have 
a double shot again. We have a dab. Just bring it over to the camera. And an absolutely monster white in. So there we go, they've made a right trash up in my rig. So I'm gonna get these guys unhooked and then sort my rig out, rebate, get some more worms chucked out there. But yeah, we go, there's another species. And off camera, I also had a poor cod. So I think that puts me on seven species now, which is not bad for the first day. No monsters yet. Still, there might be some more fish out there waiting for us. Let's see what we can do. Well, as you can probably see, I'm not outside. I'm sitting in the van. It is pretty horrible outside. It's windy, it's raining, it's absolutely horrible. You might be able to see I'm pretty wet there on the coat. So I've just come back in the van to record the end of day one in Norway. Between us, we've had an awful lot of species, which has been lovely to see. Best fish of the day has just fallen to Wayne. He had a nice slack line bite, which produced a little codling, which is quite a bit bigger than the ones I was catching. So that was really cool to see. And all the fish have gone back today. But between us, we must have had nearly 10 species, which is an absolutely fantastic start to the trip. Um, we just like some bigger fish, really, and more of them. But in terms of number of species, great start. Just need to do a bit better on the numbers and the size. So I don't know where we're going to be fishing tomorrow, but I'll be bringing you back along with me. And that'll be day two in Norway coming up. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you've liked the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I would love it if you could click that like button. Cheers, guys.